was working with a string quartet in Brooklyn. They're all Juilliard guys. They, so they play with Yo Yama. They do all this. They're top notch. But on the way, and I'm listening to the radio, uh, New York station, and it's a full hour kind of lecture, demo talk with a cellist who was a teacher at Juilliard. And it was all modern 20th century, and it was all fairly angular, fairly out there. There wasn't anything romantic happening, that's for sure. But anyway, I met the guys. I said, you know this guy? And they said, oh, yeah. What did you think of it? I said, well, I can't really comment. It didn't improve my day much. But they told this guy they were going to do some work with an Irish fiddler. And his response was, well, sure, all you got to do there is lay down a drone and just play along with it and just play over it. And it's very simple. There's really nothing to it. It's very simple music. And then he said, anybody could play it. I said to the guys, what was his point exactly? That anybody could play it? If somebody couldn't play it, would that make it good? If it was impossible to play, would that make it good? And then you realize just what an incredible amount of music exists out there with little more than that as a premise. <laughs> I can do something you can't do. <laughs> 